Yo guys, what's up? This is the Huawei Sensa. It cost about 20 bucks and I'm actually gonna review this because I actually like this phone. Uh, for what you get for just 20 bucks, it's pretty amazing. Uh, you got your fingerprint reader in the back and you have this beautiful display. Now you're gonna notice that I keep wiping the screen and that's because it comes with a screen protector installed and the screen protector actually, it's a, it's a oil magnet so it gets oily very, very, very easily. So I would suggest you guys to take it off and install a tempered glass screen protector if you can. Now, uh, this is locked to Simple Mobile. So if you do have Simple Mobile right now, um, it's awesome. Uh, this is powered by T-Mobile. So if you do have a uh, strong uh, T-Mobile uh, signal where you live, I would definitely recommend this phone. If you're on a budget, and you want a good solid phone that cost about under 50 bucks. I know the regular price right now is probably like around 40 bucks, but I got this for 20 bucks. Um, sometimes if you're lucky, you might see the sale pop up again. Now, what's so great about this phone? All right, number one, it's the screen. This is an amazing display. Uh, most phones under 50 bucks, you uh, get like a, uh, let's see, it's probably like a 720, display or something lower than that but this is actually a 1020 display it's bright uh, colors uh, they pop you know what let me just compare this real quick with the iPhone 6s let's see just turn the brightness up a little bit all right so you're getting a bigger screen and um, it's kind of hard to tell uh, the difference between the uh, screen quality. Um, this actually looks a little bit more better, believe it or not. Um, I would say partly because it uh, has a bigger screen and maybe has a better pixel density. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, the only downfall for this phone is the camera and the processor. Uh, the processor in this phone uh, kind of sucks. So uh, let's check the camera real quick. The only thing I really love about this camera is the software. So you have your photo mode, beauty mode, and it's very fluid. Um, there isn't any uh, lag. When you're trying to navigate through the uh, options, it's, it has this nice fluid animation. Uh, there's not much stutter. Now the only thing about this phone that you might have some issues with is the speed. You're gonna have to, it's one of those phones that actually perform better when you do close your apps that you're not using. I don't know why, but it just works. Uh, if you do have apps that you actually use often, I would suggest that you guys go to the phone manager and you should click on uh, system optimization, settings, actually it's not even here, cancel. protected apps so you click protected apps and the apps that you use most often um, I use Nova Launcher pretty often because it's always running uh, Firefox, Chrome, Google Play Store and uh, Google and the AccuBattery so now those apps are always running so when you do want to open it let's see when you do open it you're not going to have that lag it's, just, it's not going to have that um, that stutter Let's see, Chrome. All right, so I just opened it. Let's see. Now if you wanna go back to it, it's there. So you're not gonna have much lag. Now, the notifications, the notification bar, it's one of the most uh, prettiest designs I've seen. Uh, shortcuts, uh, I, I really much like the UI. Whoever designed this, uh, kudos to them. And if you do have this phone, I would suggest you guys not playing any games on it and not, well, you can't play games on it, but I would suggest not using um, intensive apps like Facebook, apps that are always running in the background. If you do have Facebook, uh, this is what you gotta do. Phone manager, and make sure that Facebook is not protected. So when you're out and about, and um, you're not really using Facebook. Um, Facebook won't be running in the background. 
So that's pretty awesome. Now, the size difference, uh, yes, this is bigger. Um, so when you're watching uh, YouTube videos, this might be the better choice. Let's see if you could probably... Okay, so if you guys had to choose right now, which one would you uh, prefer? Now the blacks on the iPhone seems to be a little bit more better. Um, this seems to be a little bit more, uh, the contrast seems to be a little bit more low. The iPhone does seem to have a little bit more detail. It's hard to say, man. Uh, the blues on this phone look a little bit more better. And the thing about the uh, Huawei sensor, you could also uh, control the color temperature of the screen. Alright guys, um... This has better color reproduction. This is more... Actually, it's all based on preferences. I can't really, like, you know, choose one or the other. But there, the bottom line is that this is a great display. This is a great display. And it also has um, the features that comes on this phone. Um, it's... Uh, I think it's underrated. Most people, most people they don't really give uh, Huawei that much credit, but this phone is very underrated. I know we got that quick uh, double tap to take a picture, the volume rocker. So you want to take a picture of that um, Android. All right, let's say this guy just moving, he starts talking all of a sudden, and like, oh no, let me take a picture of this. No one's gonna believe me. Double tap. So in 1.7 seconds, this was able to take that picture. So that's pretty cool. Well, let's see if this actually gets it in focus. All right, so I'm, I'm going to try again. Let's see. All right, so I got the phone. Quick snap. Let's see. Okay, so it's kind of in focus. It's not too bad. It's not bad. So some might call it it's the world star hip hop uh, quick camera feature. Now I am running. No, all right. So now I am running Nova Launcher on this phone. Now Huawei's launcher. Um, I didn't really like it too much because there's no app drawer. It has like that uh, LG type uh, app. I mean launcher to it where you have all your programs you know on every window and but I actually prefer having the app drawer now this phone is fluid now if you can't reach the uh, notification bar you're having trouble all you gotta do is uh, press this button right here and you got the pull down notifications now if you guys want to know how you do that just go in settings uh, smart assistance navigation bar and you can choose whichever one you want you can even choose uh, which uh, orientation which uh, sequence you want it's pretty cool uh, there's also motion control you can flip the phone to mute it you got one, high, one hand uh, UI I think I have that off or on. Okay, basically, you just uh, swipe your uh, finger across this, and that makes the uh, screen smaller. So, you know what? If you have small hands and you can't reach, um, you got this. And if you want to exit, just tap on the black area. You know what? Pops right up. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, you got the smart cover. So, if you had the smart cover case, you could. Uh, have the screen, uh, set the screen to tell the time. If you got the handset. So this lets you to, allows you to switch songs and stuff. It's pretty cool.
and also has a mode where if you're using gloves you can also like use gloves while actually using this I mean battery life isn't terrible um, if you guys are you know if you do have a battery drain issue I would probably just go to the uh, device manager and check what's killing your battery So, right here it's telling me um, I got mobile data turned off, GPS turned off, auto sync is turned off. If you want, um, if you want to increase uh, your battery life, you could turn auto sync off. Uh, vibration turned on. You know what? I'll turn that off. Vibration or touch turned off. Yes, it's already turned off. Auto rotation turned off. Okay. Screen timeout set to 30 seconds, set to 15 seconds to save power. Okay. Actually, I just I usually I just use the uh, power button to turn this one off. Uh, what else? Uh, screen brightness set to 100, set it to auto to save power. Okay, so now it's set to auto. Actually, I'm just going to remove that. Okay. And if you really want to save some battery, the ultra mode is pretty cool. Uh, let's say you're at work, you're not going to be using too much apps. So, I know when Samsung does this, it takes like a couple, like, you know, 10 seconds to actually switch to ultra power saving mode. And then to switch it back is like another 10 seconds. But this takes about like two, three seconds the most. So you got your dialer, you can make phone calls. And you could uh, text message. And you could access your contacts. And if you just want to exit ultra power saving mode, just click here exit now okay so ultra mode pretty much doubles your battery life so that's pretty cool okay so now my phone percentage dropped from 33 percent to 30 percent i'm pretty sure that's the uh that has to do with the screen the brightness but this phone it's uh if you know how to use it and you know take care of it it's not too bad. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. So, a $20 phone and a $300 phone. That's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, if you guys do have a uh, Honor 5X or a Huawei Sensa, um, and you do have any questions or comments or advice or... You know what, anything you want to say, uh, just hit me up in the comment section below. I will respond as soon as I can. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's it for today. If you have any questions, you know, hit me up. If you want to subscribe to see more video, hit me up as well. Uh, that's pretty much it for today. Alright, peace.